New York and on the new Hot 97 app. Ebro in the morning. On Hot 97. During Drake's Rap Radar interview, he pretty much, they covered everything, right? But one, you know, that people were specifically excited to hear was his take on the whole Pusha T beef. Here's a clip of him explaining. I have no desire to ever mend anything with that person. Yeah, that situation just went, it just went, it just went where it went. And it's just, there is no, there's no turning back. It's not like those other situations. It wasn't even about battle rap or any of that. It was just, the, the, the information was too shocking. It was, like I said, it was, it was a, on his part, it was a genius chess move. He obviously has no, like, you know, when it comes to me, he's not going to have any, like, morals or respect. So the other elements of the record, whether it be, like, just, like, the that he's making up about my mom and my dad and all this, like, dumb mm-hmm. Or, you know, obviously the part that, that hit me the most, which is, like, you know, wishing, like, that my friend that has an illness, like, dies. Like, though, that to me is just not really wavy. Like, I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm just not really with that. Like, when I did say, oh, there's rules to this, I didn't mean there's rules that anybody has to follow. There's a point where you're gonna want to stop rapping. I'm sure I could say something about, you know, your lovely lady or, you know, a child or a family member, and you're just gonna want to not really rap anymore. And we had uh... (laughs) a... Yeah, that was Pusha T's response. What was was the audio of Pusha Pusha T? What did Pusha (laughs) say? He legit tweeted, ha, 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 and what part is he most referring to? Just the entire thing? He, that was, I don't know. That was his response. So he's talking about Pusha and the beef and Pusha's response. Okay. <laughs> and now I thought the funny, I thought the thing about it that was ludicrous about the response was when he said, like, I took a loss, but really because I tapped out. It's a tap out loss is a loss. Whatever version you lose at, at the end of UFC fight, you're not like, well, I didn't get knocked out. I tapped out. It's, it's, it's. An L is an L. An L is an L. Yeah, he know. I think he knows he took the L. You can't blur the line on the L. But there was in the in the Drake conversation that he had with Rap Radar and Title and uh, shout to B Dot and um, Elliot. Um, I could definitely see, you know, Drake. Um, and as a lot of people who compete at a high level in anything, there's a lot of ego, and there's a lot of pain that Drake still I see in his body language of being uh, given credit. Right, even around his comments when he took, where's the audio about Afro beats? Oh, but but what does he need credit for on that? I think he just wants credit, and I, I mean, so you, he wants to not only be number one, but yeah. he also wants people to be like, and we need to make sure we give you credit for everything. That's right. I mean, when you get to be number one, you're number one. Well, and also at Drake's level, um, there's gonna be hate, and there's gonna be people who's gonna put an asterisk next to your accomplishments. It's gonna happen. Inspired by music from all over, that's how I end up doing like funk records from Brazil, or yeah. you know, I'm obviously always like deeply invested in the dance hall space. Right. Um, Afrobeats has become one yeah. of the biggest genres in the world. You know, obviously, no credit. But... No, you <laughs> give the, I was actually talking, <laughs> to, I was actually well. talking to Tuma that works on YouTube. He was mm-hmm. crediting you for uh, kind of popularizing Afrobeats with One Dance. And it was yeah, crazy. I mean, I think, yeah, I think like Come Closer, One Dance. Like, first of all, the music those like the music those artists make in that space there's nothing better than that right. so i'll never sit here and say oh one dance is like the best uh, afrobeats record but i do think that 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 genre deserved to get this popular and i'm very happy that i was able to even be part of that conversation Absolutely. so but you can hear in there he wants credit right he wants acknowledgement Johnny, you want to go ahead and give it to him he didn't even give credit to the artist who was on the songs with him what do you mean he didn't write their names on the he no, he did. He in the did. Song a little bit. He did. Wiz Kid's name is on there, I, and even um, I got an interview. I went to Jamaica over the holiday. Shawnee was out in Jamaica. I, I went down there and took my uh, lady and my daughter down there, yeah. and I went and found Popcon and had a great conversation with him about him and Drake's relationship. You know, Popcon is officially OVO and they're good on the label. Um, oh, okay, but there was controversy about him getting credit in the beginning too. Well, not not from Popcon. That not was from, from every, Popcorn, that was from everyone else, which we everybody. talked about. Right. So people are saying that he didn't help popular, popularize Afrobeat. Is that, is that no, the he's saying that he didn't get the credit for doing it. Well, he did. He doesn't think he gets the credit. But but how much credit? That's not how credit works. When you're the biggest star in the world, people don't run around being like. And also, I'd like to say, you just know, you're just the guy. He's the guy. Everyone and, knows and, he's the and guy. And in the right. Afrobeat community of individuals who consume that music primarily, mm-hmm. they Drake is not why they consume it, so they're not going to give him credit for it. I'm sure, sure the artist who, I'm sure the artist who he helped though, and he yes. did he did show Wizkid love in the interview. I'm sure that he 
gets credit from those for artists. For sure. Mm-hmm. For but sure. I'll tell you what. I never... Afrobeat was not a popular thing here before. I was like... When I was in Europe, that's what, that was my first exposure to yeah. Afrobeat. That was because of the African community in Europe. And in it was London. very popular over there. And I had... Up until that time, I didn't even know what Afrobeat was. And then when I came back over here, it still wasn't playing over here like that. Like, yes, there was like, it's playing in African households, but popular, like, over the airwaves. And in the clubs. Club, and right. You would never hear it until Drake, to no, be no, honest. No, no, it's like, real. completely honest, completely transparent. That's true. Yeah, I, I don't think anybody's debating that. My con- my piece of this conversation is just I see in Drake's spirit and in his body language where he's ah. still, there's pain and there's like a... Well, because people, um, people go, hey, yo, man, you stole Afrobeat. I mean, I tried to big him up with Dancehall. I told him he opened the door for Dancehall, Drake. You know what I'm saying? And everybody I mean, went crazy. Well, see, he that's needs a, that's to credit Rihanna for that, really. But, you know. See, see, them, see there's see? people like Sean. <laughs> <It's really laughs> you know, I don't want to agree with it's Drake real. on this, but Shawnee makes me agree with exactly. him. Because when I why? hear Shawnee, I'm like, well, if people act like this, see? then I get why his feelings exactly. are Exactly. Right. Because, because you do you you knock him down a peg every single time. When we talk time. about his sexual he, conquest, you and, and your feelings. Here comes Shawnee. And, and by the way, that, that's Shawnee trolling because Shawnee's been to Toronto and he know what that's like. Yeah, it's very Caribbean in Toronto. So I'm sure he and had a lot of And guess where Drake is from? Toronto. He's from Toronto. But we know once Rihanna made that work, work, work song, and he was having... Dealings with Rihanna around the same time. You know, Rihanna, you know, you know Rihanna didn't write that song, right? What? Work, 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 work. But she's from the Caribbean, and yeah, yeah. It was but the same you, time. you know, you know a guy from. I don't know. Party, she writes any Party of her Next songs. Door wrote that. Party right? Next Door wrote that, and, and he signed from, to Drake. And where's he from? Toronto. I just. He wrote a Caribbean song for her. She doesn't write any of her songs. Shawnee, how you switching sides? <laughs> now you just no, buried I'm... Rihanna, too. Oh, my God. Oh my God. God. Her influence. Right, we're going to wrap influence. this up. Shawnee, you're a disaster. That's your flash and light report. The time it, is no. 9 a.m., <laughs> high of 44 yeah, degrees. I don't get it. <laughs> Alternate side parking rules are suspended for Three Kings Day. It's Big up Rihanna for Afro Beats. That's all I'm saying. Wait, <laughs> how did we get there? How did that even happen? <laughs> Yo, what? What's going on? <laughs>